I'm really excited about publishing Spur Brides. And I know I sound excited every time I publish a novel, and I always am. That is the truth. But this time, it's particularly exciting for me because it does feel like a debut. I've got to, uh, I've got this unique opportunity of telling the stories of women that have never had their story, stories told. I think we all look at World War One and we think of it as a very male war. And now I'm talking about the aftermath. And um, I want to tell a story of these unsung heroines. And um, I want to sing their praises because they were amazing women. One of the fabulous parts of researching this book was I got to really understand what the women um, wore which sounds really superficial, but actually was fascinating. The colours that came into the country at that time, um, they wore rich yellows and oranges and greens and blues, and they sort of dressed like peacocks. They had sort of lots of Asian influence and um, lots of feathers, and uh, the clothes were very luxurious. And I wanted that element uh, brought out in the book. Some of the girls, obviously, the way it is in every society, simply couldn't afford uh, these clothes pre-war. They'd always been rich people, and pre-war you couldn't, a uh, poor, poorer girl couldn't have hoped to, to, uh, to uh, aspire to these kind of clothes. But after the war, when there was a lot more um, mass manufacturing, it suddenly became available to everybody, and plastic beads became uh, fine. You didn't have to wear pearls. And so girls became, um, excited about their own femininity and excited about their beauty and how they express themselves through fashion. And so there was a, a lovely element to researching this book, which was uh, I got to touch and play with lots of beautiful clothes. If I could pick one thing of Spare Brides and bring it into the modern day, it would be Edgar Trent, <laughs> who is my hero and just that I think the, the perfect man, because actually the perfect man has the perfect woman they have to have their imperfections, and he, he has. He has them in bucket loads, but he's strong and beautiful and handsome and needs fixing. And if he was here, we could fix him. Mm -hmm.